Hey guys, so I know that I have already done like a brush review type video, but since then I have gotten some new brushes that I'm really liking more than the ones I had before. So I did want to show you guys, um, so this is mainly going to be like a Real Techniques brush review, but I'll also show you guys all the ones that I do have. So I have them in two different holders, so I made this one myself. Um, it's just from like a candle from Bath and Body Works, and then you empty it out you paint the inside and you put glitter in it and then you put the inside with like paint, um like plant filler and then you just put your brushes in it and then I also have this like little Hello Kitty uh, it has a head too but obviously you can't put the head on so um I will show you guys all the brushes I have so this is one of my Real Technique brushes. It's a powder brush. I really like it because it's so fluffy and soft and it's just like really good for your whole face. Um, another Real Technique brush I have is this blush brush. I really really like it. The handles are nice. They have really good grips on them and it's also just really soft and fluffy. I find that some of my other brushes that I have, I have a MAC one and one from Carol Baker, and those ones are real hair, so it's kind of like not as like bouncy, I guess. So that's a thing that I really like about the Real Techniques. And then I also have this foundation brush, which is really nice. I use it with my Tarte foundation. And then this is just like an eye brush, like for eyeshadow. So I got the eyeshadow brush, the blush brush, and the foundation brush all together in a set. Um, it was $17, I think, at Ulta. And then I got the powder brush by itself, and I think it was like $8. And then other brushes that I have is this Bobbi Brown bronzer brush. I got this at Sephora. And it's pretty good. Um, I do use it when I wear my Laguna bronzer um, so that's definitely a good brush and then I also have this small matte concealer brush so when I have like problem spots I just use that and then I also have this brush from Sephora um, it's if any eyeshadow like falls when you're applicating it then it will just like wipe underneath and it gets it all out and then another MAC brush is this it's eyeshadow and it's the 239 and then I have this um, eyeliner brush from Bare Minerals and then I also have this brush from Bare Minerals as well and then I have this uh, MAC lip brush so you just like put it down like that and that's 318 I do have other brushes, but these are the ones that I use on a more regular basis. Um, I love all of these brushes the most, and they're kind of in like my daily routine, which is why I have them in the holders. My other brushes, I have um, another full set of Alex's, just so I don't have to travel with my brushes all the time. And then I also have a few that came in like my naked palettes and all that. Um, but those are definitely all my favorite ones. If you have any questions about Real Technique brushes or the MAC ones or the Sephora ones, definitely just comment below and I will answer you as soon as I can. And if you have any of these brushes and you love them, also let me know about that. So don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.